it's a big deal that we capture the heart of the Lord for restoration because that's the nature of the gospel. It's the one area of ministry everybody's been given. He said everyone's been given the spirit of the anointing of reconciliation. And that is to bring back together and to restore. And, uh, and we've got to learn how to do it. The inability to handle conflict, the inability to handle problems or sin, the reactions that we have as parents even to our own children to move into. So much discipline takes place in the home to make the parent feel better uh, because the, the child infringed on their rights instead of true godly discipline. And we've got to learn how to do this. And it has to do with these kinds of issues. It has to do with life in general. And, uh, you know, repentance is what people uh, look for in these situations. Genuine repentance. And repentance for me means that, you know, if I make a mess, I've got to clean it up. Mm -hmm. And part of the process that's going on here yeah. is it's just a process of cleaning mm -hmm. up messes. And uh, in the church, you know, we as the people of God, we've got to be patient because yeah. sometimes... You know, stuff just doesn't get fixed in a day or in a week or in a month or in the time frame that we think is, is appropriate for us. We've got to realize that there's just a lot of stuff that's got to be attended to. And, and I just really am thankful, Rick, for you being able to, to kind of head up the charge on this thing because we're on the other side of the planet, you know, and cheering you on. And I appreciate, Todd, you coming, you know, yielding to this kind of a leadership because it's just what we need is the grace. We need to give room for people to clean up their stuff and then we have to uh, applaud it as it unfolds and takes place. And that's really what's going on here is, is a true ministry of reconciliation, a true ministry of healing. And it is going to prophesy to those hiding. It is going to prophesy hope to those that are just, uh, they've just given up. They're outside of the church. They're outside for whatever reason. And uh, we owe it to them to be courageous enough to say, you know what, this thing matters enough that we're even willing to put this on the air as you've done yeah. and, uh, and just kind of walk it through. It's not like we have all the answers, but we're heading in the right direction. And uh, so I just, I just really, uh, I really do applaud that and, and appreciate the kind of honesty to, to deal with this openly because there's yeah. a mess and, it and it's the process of just cleaning up the mess. And I think the, uh, the lessons <coughs> are going to help a, a lot of people. And uh, we have a terrible terrible scourge of divorce you know and it, it is tragic but if you've been through it it's not the end god hasn't given up on yeah. you and we're not going to give up on you and even if it was your fault mm -hmm. and, and you know uh, you need to come to a realization of that because the lord doesn't forgive excuses he forgives sin that's right and uh you know we need to really own and i you know i appreciate the way Todd has just been so open, and and uh, we're getting we're just starting to get into to yeah. really find how did some of these mm -hmm. things happen. But there was more to it, and I think there is a whole lot to every divorce. Yeah. But our goal is to see it stop, to see this yes. plague of divorce yeah. that is sweeping the church. Mm -hmm. And we're we're not doing this just to promote Todd's ministry back. It's a much bigger issue. I told you. People. I told you this, Rick. Yeah. I said. I'll, I've had a lot of failures in my life, and I've got a powerful testimony of how God saved me from a lifestyle of drugs and so many other things. I said, God turns all things together for good. Without giving excuse to the failure, I only have one choice now, to move forward and say, God, how can I help people in the future? You know, why can't I have the greatest marriage? Why can't I be the greatest advocate of marriage? Why can't I be the greatest, you know, just because you have a failure in the past doesn't mean you can't use that to be to promote something great in the future. And that's what I want my testimony to be is, you know, what God intended marriage to be because not everybody gets a second mm -hmm. chance. Some people have been married twice, three times over, but they still deserve to learn and do it better the next time and do it best. Mm -hmm. And and I want to be that 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 message of, you know, you know, divorce is bad, you know, stay in love. Mm -hmm. And you know, it sounds almost like, well, how can you say that when everything's so fresh? But uh, that's why I'm here, learning from good men. And, you know, we've, we've come from dysfunctional backgrounds, you know, and we'll get in more to that later. But yeah. there's, I don't think many, any divorce just happens. It normally is something that unfolds. Years. There's a crack in the foundation and things get in. And over time, the foundation just falls apart. And these are the, the, these are the reasons we want to do the, these videos and just be as frank and as open. I, Appreciate Todd's willingness to just share 
these things, which we'll be doing in the weeks to come to help others mm -hmm. and uh, to help others been through it. But there is also grace. You know, if we want to receive grace, it says, do, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that will he also reap. So if we want to receive grace, first thing we need to do is start sowing grace to others. That's right. If we want to receive mercy, we got to start sowing mercy right. every chance we get. Mercy does triumph over judgment. The Lord himself proved that. But we don't want to have mercy for the things God has under judgment. We don't want to go fall in the ditch on the other side into unsanctified mercy and just yeah, sanctioning that's everything. That is not the answer either. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I think over this process, we're going to learn a lot and really appreciate those of you who are joining with mm -hmm. us, who are sending us your emails, encouragement, questions. We're going to try to get to them. Thank you very much for being yeah. with us.